Any moment now, a worker hired to help disabled people at Orlando International Airport could bond out of jail. Police accuse him of stealing from an older man in a wheelchair trying to catch a flight. News 6's Eric Sandoval joins us now live outside the Orange County Jail tonight. Eric, he was taken into custody just a few hours ago, right? That's right. Actually, as soon as he got to work this morning, Matt, uh, authorities were there to take him into custody. I talked with the people who hired him. They said he had to go through two criminal background checks. He passed those criminal background checks. He had no record. Of course, that's changed now. And right now, he's about to bond out of jail. Orlando police say 22-year-old Benedike Deneval was working here at the West Security Checkpoint at OIA last Tuesday when he stole a couple's cash. They said he worked for a contractor called Bags Incorporated, which supplies wheelchairs to passengers going to their gates. Investigators said Deneval was helping a couple from Ocala get through security to make it to their flight to Chicago. One of them was 89 years old, and he needed to use a wheelchair. And it's when that man went through a metal detector, investigators say Deneval made his move. They said they watched video from at least five different surveillance cameras at the TSA checkpoint. They said they saw the couple arrive. They said they watched Deneval place their valuables in two separate bins. When he pushed the man in his wheelchair through the metal detector, they said they saw Deneval grab the man's wallet out of the bin, empty it of $150 cash, and return it. Investigators said the couple didn't realize the money was gone until later. This morning, Orlando police say Deneval had nothing to say to them when they placed him in handcuffs and arrested him. This is the second time this year News 6 has told you about money stolen at Orlando's TSA checkpoint. In June, TSA worker Alexander Shea Johnson was arrested after police say he stole more than $300 from a passenger. He is still awaiting trial tonight. Now, I spoke with Boxes International tonight. They told me that this man was terminated as soon as he was taken into custody. I just checked the jail's website. He is bonding out as we speak. We're going to see if he has anything to say as he walks out of jail tonight. We are live at the Orange County Jail. Eric Sandoval, News 6. Lisa, Matt. Eric, thank you.